Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Chelsea have fired Graham Potter after less than seven months in charge. Potter's really struggled to make that jump from Brighton to Chelsea. He's found it very difficult to win over the supporters. He's looked a little bit overwhelmed by the enormity of the job. We can do better and, and, and we have to do better. Where we are in the league table, no one's happy with. So uh, whatever criticism comes, I, I have to accept. There will be questions about why Chelsea turned to him. Ultimately, it's proven to be the case that it's just seemed like a step up that he's just not been able to make. They have completed the signing of Mikhailo Mudrik. Malo Gusto. Benoit Badiashil. Noni Mudweki. Enzo Fernandez. In theory, the players they brought in, particularly in January, should have made it easier for Graham Potter to do his job. But immediately there's this huge level of spending that's shifting the expectations out of nowhere for the owners they'll be looking at and going well we've spent the money where are the results resources is one thing and spending money is one thing but you need to be able to align them you need to be able to make the right decisions you need to be able to provide a, a culture a team an environment because it's not the amount that you spend on its own that gets success it's left him with so many players that it's been quite hard to know what his first 11 should be. He's had to chop and change partly because of injuries, partly because of form, partly because it's just not been clear who should be in and who should be out. I guess that's summed up best by Aubameyang, Chelsea under Potter, uh, much like Brighton under Potter have struggled for goals. Aubameyang, for all his faults, is a goal scorer, quite often not even on the bench for, uh, for Premier League. It raised questions over some of the decision-making at the club and whether or not this was a stable environment for someone like Graham Potter, who is a very process-driven manager. The immediate assumption was that Chelsea's next move would be to go for Julian Nagelsmann, who's obviously just left Bayern Munich. Chelsea don't necessarily have a lot of people left in the building, so with Nagelsmann seemingly at the moment unwilling to take a job until the summer, what Chelsea have had to do is put Bruno Salter in temporary charge for the time being. I have to be the most professional I can, uh, try to help the players, guide the players uh, towards preparing the game the best we can. The strange thing about that is obviously that Bruno is part of Graham Potter's backroom staff. He followed him to Chelsea from Brighton and he has no managerial experience whatsoever. Three of Potter's uh, other coaches have remained at the club as well, which is an interesting situation that the club would feel that they would be better off without Potter, but still want to leave some of his people at the club for the time being. So there's not an immediate replacement coming in. The word is that the appointment could wait until the summer, that they don't want to rush into anything. I think particularly the fact that Nagelsmann is, is reluctant to make a quick decision on his future probably informs uh, some of that thinking.